What's up team, welcome to the video. It looks like I'm in jail, but I'm not when it's past sunset. Um, this is the only place I can shoot a video around my apartment that has good lighting. Within the apartment's not great, and like John's working, I'm not trying to distract him. I'm, not, I'm in a, like an outdoor parking ramp garage. Um, but I, I wanna talk about scale weight, and specifically because so many people have a number on the scale as one of their primary goals very very often like top three goals um are i want to like a dude a five foot nine dude who weighs 190 and he's soft okay so like a little bit chubby five nine 190 he's like i want to get abs and i want to weigh 200 it's like dude that can't happen <laughs> Like, for a number of reasons, one being we can't lean you out while adding muscle at the same time, especially to that degree where you're gaining weight and getting leaner. Um, two, I'm not going to get into the whole, like, FFMI, how much lean mass can a person, based on historical data, probably have without taking drugs, because we can get into that, and we can talk. It's, like, for a very specific subset of people. Men primarily are going to be interested, intermediate to advanced strength trainees um, and we can talk about like for this height you can probably be at this weight and be this body fat percentage as like the cap of your genetic potential I think that's kind of a dumb conversation too I'm not interested in that what I'm interested in is you guy who wants to weigh 200 pounds without really knowing why and and without fully understanding that like you can look really, really good and feel really, really good and be strong and look like you weigh 200 pounds as someone who doesn't know any better and like have abs and chest and shoulders and arms and weigh 175 pounds. We're just distorted by media. We're distorted by drugs and Hollywood and we're distorted by um, a number of things. I think just, just also that being lean, when you're shirtless and you're lean and have some muscle, you look bigger than you really are. That's why when someone's at the end of a cut, traditionally hear them say, I feel small in a shirt, but when my shirt comes off, I'm, I, like you can tell they lift, they look jacked. Um, applies a lot to girls too, wanting to be under a certain amount. I'm five foot four, I need to be under 120 pounds because I've been under 120 pounds and I felt good there in the past. Like, if your clothes fit good, if your waist measurements are on point, if, if like you feel good, if you're moving around, if you feel strong, if you like what you see in the mirror, if you're making progress towards your goals, if you're developing good habits, if you're like not binge eating and like sinking into good nutrition habits, those are the things that are important. And, and we can even wipe a lot of that away. And if we want to go pure physique, pure aesthetics, if you weigh 127 and you love what you see in the mirror, versus being under 120 because that's a number that you got in your head somewhere along the line of life. Like you got, I'm, I need to be sub 120. Like, which is better? Would you rather be 118 and be like, yeah, I don't really like how I look or would you rather weigh 126 and be like, fuck yeah. We, we just, we need to stop obsessing about the scale. The scale is a good measure of progress. Over time, if you lose 50 pounds on the scale, you lost a lot of body fat, great job. Um, the scale varies, like as we know, I'll link a video below about like why the scale goes up and down, not related to body fat, um, fat gain or fat loss, but like temporary short-term stuff. But like, as it relates to having specific goals, I, I, I really challenge you not to let scale weight, unless you're an advanced bodybuilder and you know, like I stepped on stage at 164 this and I wanna step on stage at 166 next year, sorry, my phone, what memory issue. Um, then I can see that being okay, but outside of that specific circumstance, it just doesn't make any sense to have the weight on the scale be in, in like your top five or ten primary goals. All right, we got to end the video because this motherfucker is getting me out of here. Um, hang on, guys. People. People say like, People in Minnesota are so nice. New Yorkers are so mean. They're wrong. People are wrong. People in Minnesota are mean. Um, or I'm sitting in the middle of the street and he just honked at me. He's like, get the fuck out of the way. One of the two. All right. Daily uploads. Let's go. Six uploads a week is actually the bet. Thank you guys for watching. Just get that, get that like, 
get the scale as, a, as something you want to hit out of your mind and focus on strength and focus on how you look and focus on how you feel as the most important things.